Welcome to morning prayer for Ash Wednesday, this uh, 17th of February 2021. Ash Wednesday is the first day of Lent, which is a period of preparation leading up to the great celebration of Easter, the 50 days of Easter ending with um, Pentecost. During Lent, and especially on Ash Wednesday, we remember our own human sinfulness and how far we fall short of what God invites us to be and to do. And Lent is a time when uh, Christians often take up something additional to their usual practice in order to spend more time with God, to deepen their prayer life, to um, draw closer to God. And sometimes uh, Christians also give up something in order to make space for that renewed commitment to God. So I wish you well as you choose your Lenten practices and I wish you a happy and holy journey through Lent to the great celebration of Easter. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for you have blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before you. In love you destined us to be your children through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of your will, to the praise of your glorious grace, which you freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalm set for today are two portions of Psalm 38, verses 1 to 4 and verses 18 to 21. O Lord, rebuke me not in your anger, nor chasten me in your fierce displeasure. For your arrows have been aimed against me, and your hand has come down heavy upon me. There is no health in my flesh because of your indignation, nor soundness in my bones by reason of my sin. The tide of my iniquities has gone over my head. Their weight is a burden too heavy for me to bear. But I acknowledge my wickedness, and I am filled with sorrow at my sin. Those that are my enemies without cause are great in number, and those who hate me wrongfully are many. Those also who repay evil for good are against me, because I seek after good. Forsake me not, O Lord, go not far from me, my God. Hasten to my help, O Lord, my salvation. We consecrate this day to your service, O Lord. May all our thoughts, words and actions be well-pleasing to you 
and serve the good of our brothers and sisters through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Today's first reading for Ash Wednesday comes from the book of the prophet Daniel, chapter 9, verses 3 to 6 and verses 15 to 19. I turn to the Lord God to seek an answer by prayer and supplication, with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. I prayed to the Lord my God and made confession, saying, Ah, Lord, great and awesome God, keeping covenant and steadfast love with those who love you and keep your commandments, we have sinned and done wrong, acted wickedly and rebelled turning aside from your commandments and ordinances. We have not listened to your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes and our ancestors, and to all the people of the land. And now, O Lord our God, who brought your people out of the land of Egypt with a mighty hand, and made your name renowned even to this day, we have sinned, we have done wickedly. O Lord, in view of all your righteous acts, let your anger and wrath, we pray, turn away from your city Jerusalem, your holy mountain. Because of our sins and the iniquities of our ancestors, Jerusalem and your people have become a disgrace among all our neighbours. Now therefore, O our God, listen to the prayer of your servant and to his supplication, and for your own sake, Lord, let your face shine upon your desolated sanctuary. Incline your ear, O my God, and hear. Open your eyes and look at the desolation and the city that bears your name. We do not present our supplication before you on the ground of our righteousness, but on the ground of your great mercies. O Lord, hear. O Lord, forgive. O Lord, listen and act and do not delay. For your own sake, O my God, because your city and your people bear your name. The second reading today is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, beginning at verse 7. Jesus said, When you are praying... Do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. Pray then in this way. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And do not bring us to the time of trial, but rescue us from the evil one. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. A canticle for Wednesday is the Te Deum. We praise you, O God, we acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. 
When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Let us pray for God's world and for Christian people everywhere as we begin this journey into Lent together. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The Collect for Ash Wednesday Gracious God, out of your love and mercy, you breathed into dust the breath of life, creating us to serve you and one another. Call forth our penitence and acts of love and strengthen us to face our mortality so that we may look with confidence for your salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Living God, we pray that you will strengthen and encourage your church through this uh, season of Lent. And today, in the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray especially for the Diocese of Antananarivo in the Church of the Province of the Indian Ocean. And in the Australian Church, we pray for our Primate, Archbishop Jeff Smith, or Bishop Greg Anderson and the clergy and people of the Diocese of the Northern Territory. In our own diocese, we ask you to encourage and guide Andrew Schmidt, Edward Edgerton, Robert Perry, Mike Verco, and all the people of the parish of Bundaberg West in which those clergy serve. Encourage and make faithful and fruitful those who work to raise funds for the Bush Ministry Fund and for our Bush parishes. And among our schools, guide Andrew Hawkins, the headmaster of the Southport School, Jonathan Werrett, the chaplain, Fraser Perrin, the chair, and all the members of the school council, and that whole staff and student community. As we pick up the themes of Lent, we use the words of this litany for Lent from the Episcopalian Book of Common Prayer in the United States. Most holy and merciful Father, we confess to you and to one another and to the whole communion of saints in heaven and on earth that we have sinned by our own fault in thought, word and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart and mind and strength. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. We have not forgiven others as we have been forgiven. Have mercy on us, Lord. We have been deaf to your call to serve as Christ served us. We have not been true to the mind of Christ. We have grieved your Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us, Lord. We confess to you, Lord, all our past unfaithfulness, the pride, hypocrisy and impatience of our lives. We confess to you, Lord. Our self-indulgent appetites and ways and our exploitation of other people. We confess to you, Lord. Our anger at our own frustration 
and our envy of those more fortunate than ourselves, we confess to you, Lord. Our intemperate love of worldly goods and comforts and our dishonesty in daily life and work, we confess to you, Lord. Our negligence in prayer and worship and our failure to commend the faith that is in us, we confess to you, Lord. Accept our repentance, Lord, for the wrongs we have done, for our blindness to human need and suffering, and our indifference to injustice and cruelty. Accept our repentance, Lord. For all false judgments, for uncharitable thoughts towards our neighbours, and for our prejudice and contempt toward those who differ from us. Accept our repentance, Lord. For our waste and pollution of your creation and our lack of concern for those who come after us. Accept our repentance, Lord. Restore us, good Lord, and let your great anger depart from us. Favourably hear us, for your mercy is great. Accomplish in us the work of your salvation, that we may show forth your glory in the world. By the cross and passion of your Son, our Lord, bring us with all your saints to the joy of his resurrection. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desires not the death of sinners, but rather that they may turn from their wickedness and live, has given power and commandment to his ministers to declare and pronounce to his people, being penitent, the absolution and remission of their sins. God pardons and absolves all those who truly repent and with sincere hearts believe his gospel. Therefore, we beseech you, O Lord, to grant us true repentance and your Holy Spirit, that those things may please you which we do this day, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that at the last we may come to your eternal joy, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, Guide and strengthen us by your Holy Spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with us all during this Lenten journey and draw us close to Christ. And may the God of steadfastness and encouragement Grant us to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus, that we may with one voice glorify our God and Father. Amen. Have a holy and faith-filled Lent. May it be renewing for you and those close to you. God bless you.